Hello everybody and welcome back to Odin's Movie Vlog. I am the critic who is a cynic. Hope you're doing well. And today we're going to be talking about this complete and utter nonsense, this complete and utter stupidity, and also this complete and utter <laughs> and utter ass hattery that is now coming from Disney. And if you've not been following this story, then this might be news to you, but Star Wars Theory, which is a great channel on YouTube, it's got well over a million subs, 1.4 million subs, and it's a Star Wars channel. It's dedicated to nothing but not only Star Wars news, Star Wars speculation, but also Star Wars content and creation as well. So much so that this guy, Star Wars Theory, what he did was he put in his own resources, his heart, his soul, into making a fan film. And he was planning on doing several different episodes, and luckily, thank God, his spirit is still high enough to where he still plans on going forward with episode 2 of this project. If you haven't seen it, I would recommend that you watch it, but at this point I would say, don't watch it until Star Wars Theory is able to figure something out. Because at the end of the day, what's going to happen is whatever you do... However you watch this film, if you watch it on his YouTube channel and an ad plays, that revenue is now going straight into Disney's pockets. Now, there's someone on Twitter, uh, let's see, Sean Stillman, who's fighting with Legal Lighting about this, saying, Oh, it's not technically Disney, it's, it's, it's Warner Chapel who's who made the claim, so you're just making this stuff up. Even though we can see, and Legal Lightning makes a very point, so shout out to my boy Legal Lightning, who says, Look at the claim! UBEM, Warner Chapel, AMRA, UMPI, and wait, what's that? Walt Disney! Disney Music Company Publishing, which means that Disney is involved. Like, that's all that you need to know about any of this, is that Disney is involved. And what is the claim? The claim apparently is that the Imperial March is somehow detected by this film. That the score of this film is so similar, or at least similar enough, to the Imperial March that they're going to copyright the entire project. So let me get this straight. The whole project is funded by Star Wars Theory. He doesn't crowdfund because you won't allow him. He, he doesn't do anything else because you had to, to follow every single damn rule that you laid down in order for him to get this film out there. Basically, release it for free, not making any profits off the film whatsoever. The film does very well, is successful. Not too long ago, a couple days ago, we find out Disney is losing money in Star Wars and Marvel Comics, both of which have gone identity politics and SJW, which is why it's no surprise that we've seen drops in those areas. And now, all of a sudden, a successful project is being copyright striked and now all the ad revenue coming from this video is going straight into Disney's pocket. If that isn't pettiness, if that isn't just being a sore loser, if that isn't just being a total asshat, I don't really know what the hell else is. This is so petty. Disney, you are a billion, multi-billion dollar company. You could produce great films that do well if you wanted to. You could release excellent Marvel comics if you wanted to, but you don't. You don't care about the fans. You do not give a damn about anything other than pushing your stupid, liberal, SJW, identity politics-driven narrative and at the expense of money. And then when someone else says, I'm sick and tired of this stupidity. I'm sick and tired of The Last Jedi. I'm sick and tired of Ryan Johnson calling me a, 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 a white man baby in my mama's basement, calling me a racist and a sexist and, and, and a homophobe. I'm tired of all that. You know what I'm going to do? I, you know, Disney's not going to give me good Star Wars. I'm going to make me some good Star Wars instead. Oh, wait, Disney's not going to allow me to? Fine. I'll respect your damn rules. I'll, I'll respect copyright law, and I will do everything by the book. And even then, even when he follows everything, even when he does everything by the book, it is still not enough for you. It is still not enough for you. This is ridiculous. This is total lunacy. And for anyone that's going to be trying to spin it like Sean Stillman, oh, well, it's not actually Disney, it says it right there. Walt Disney Music Company. This is connected to Disney. Whether you want to say it or not, whether you want to try and say, oh, it's not actually there, Disney is obviously involved because the Walt Disney Music Company is a part of Disney. And if you're trying to tell me, oh, the Walt Disney Company is just a publishing company, I don't give a damn. They are listed as a claimant. Therefore, they are going to be receiving revenue from this film. Doesn't matter if they're splitting it up one way or the other. They're getting money, they're getting profit off a film that they had nothing to do with. Star Wars existed before Disney, got its grubby little hands on it and destroyed it. Star Wars existed and will continue to exist long after Disney is gone. And yet they were like, oh, well, you know, you know, we're not doing so well. So, oh, you followed all the rules. Oh, well, you know, it's close enough and it's close enough to where legally we can do this. And so we're going to do it. No, screw you, Disney. And the fact that this has been known now for almost 24 hours, 
and Disney has not made a single statement, Disney has not said anything about this ma- like this nonsense, is just why even more so I have so much anger and frustration because Disney doesn't give a damn. Disney obviously, and, and this is something that we know, this is business. They care about making money. We know this. We, we've always known this. But there are some companies that want to make money, but then also want to make their fans happy. That also care about what the fans have to say and actually will usually get input from the fans as well. We already saw that happen with Fox. How do you think we got a rated R movie? How do you think we got a rated R Logan film? How do you think we got a rated R Deadpool movie? Because the fans wanted it and they listened to the fans. Now, am I saying that they listen to the fans all the time? No. But they obviously care more about the fans over at Fox than they do over at Disney at this point, especially when you look at Star Wars. Because what are they doing? What, what is Disney doing at this point? They have no original ideas anymore, except for a few animated features every year, like, you know, over the next few years. That's the only original content that's coming through. Because let's look at their live action stuff. It's all remaking their classic content. Because, again, they're out of ideas. What are they doing in Star Wars right now? Oh, wait, that's right. They're twiddling their thumbs because they decided to hire Ryan Johnson, who is an idiot, who can't write, by his own admission, give him a project to start working on before the first film's even done in a trilogy, or what's supposed to be a trilogy. And then when that, start, when that film does $700 million less and leads to Solo which was the worst Star Wars film, monetarily speaking, because it actually lost money, the first film ever to lose money. And then this. And then Star Wars Theory, who is still a classy dude. He is taking this in stride. He is heartbroken, and he has every right to be. But he's disappointed too. He's just disappointed though. I'm downright angry. I am furious. I am absolutely furious with this. Because this is the big guy. This is the big company. Going after the little guy. Going after a man who simply wanted to put his passion into a project. And so you'll say, well, it's being allowed to stay up. And they, oh, they have a right to it. They have a right to it. Yeah, but you know what they could have also done? They could have said, hey, it was a great film. Good job, man. Maybe we can talk in the future. They didn't even have to say that last part. Just say, hey, that's great. Hey, guys, have y'all seen this? Could you imagine the fan love? Or at least like some of the fans love returning. If Disney had made a comment saying, go watch this guy's video. This, th- this guy is awesome. We're going to allow this guy to, to, to put his content out there. Maybe you don't have to go as far as saying, well, allow him to monetize it. But at the very least say, hey, this guy did a really good job. And, and this is a reason to be excited for Star Wars. And don't worry, we've got good stuff coming out too. We're going to gain your trust back. No, 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 no. Of course they're not going to do that. Instead, they'll keep everything in secret. They'll keep everything in hiding. They'll still allow idiots like Ryan Johnson to go on Twitter on a daily basis, bad-mouthing the fans. They'll still allow idiots like they finally fired Chuck Windy because he went so off the rails, but they were allowing him for years to shout off all of his stupid nonsense. And you've got so many Star Wars shills from the media who get all their free passes and free movies and all this other nonsense who are still fighting the fan base. And other representatives of Lucasfilm doing the same thing. This is outrageous. And this is almost enough to get me to boycott you all together, Disney. Seriously, like, you are already at the point where I I don't want to pay for another Star Wars film ever. And I'm not going to tell you how I'm probably going to end up watching your movies. Because I don't have to tell you a damn thing. But at the end of the day, I'm not supporting you. I would rather at this point go see Cats the Musical that's coming out the same night as episode 9, then watch your stupid, identity politics-driven, Ray. Whoa, Ray is a superhero. Oh my gosh, she's a woman. Oh my gosh, she has to be good. She has to be good. Nonsense. And I hate Cats. I hate Cats the musical. But I would rather see that. I would rather see that than support a company that does this, that copyright strikes a small YouTube channel by, by, by basic standards. The largest Star Wars YouTube channel, easily. But you copy strike a channel, and you take revenue for a project that you didn't do a damn thing for. You did not do a damn thing. And all I can say is that if you thought the vocal minority was mad, if you thought the vocal minority was cutting into your profits, which guess what we are? Look at the SEC filing. If you thought it was bad before, just wait. Just wait until celebration. Just wait until episode 9. Because we are the most passionate fans. The Phantom Menace is the most passionate fan base there is. 
We, we're, we're OG fans. We're prequel fans. And some of us, at least at first, may have even been sequel trilogy fans. But you, you've lost our trust. You've lost our trust with this nonsense. The only thing you could do to possibly redeem yourself at this point is to somehow, at some point, come out and say, this was a mistake, this is lunacy, and we're taking it away. But you're not going to do that. Because you don't care. You don't give a damn about the fans. You never have, and you never will. And I only pray that more people see this video, not just mine, but this video right here, to see what kind of company Disney is, what they care about, and how they will go after anyone. They will take down anyone. They will steal. You want to talk about theft? You want to talk about copyright? You are stealing this man's content. You are the true thief. Disney, because the fact that you're getting any damn money from this project is theft. You didn't have any part in this whatsoever, other than them asking questions about how can I make this movie without you suing me out the ass. You had nothing to do with this movie at all, and yet you're getting money for it? That's theft. And I told this to Star Wars Theory early on, and I don't know if he's heard me or not, but dude, fight this. You have over a million subscribers who would have your back. You have that many more who would have your back as well. If you want to fight this and take this to court, because this is lunacy. And if you don't want to do that, man, I say you take that fan film down. Do not let a dime go to Disney or anyone else, because obviously there's a lot of people listed there. Disney is one of them. Don't let a dime go to Disney. Change whatever it is they copyright strike and then re-upload it, man. And as I said before, what you need to do then at that point is in the very beginning, you have <laughs> every single fan give you a video. And you have a compilation of giant middle fingers to Disney. That's what I think he should do. Is he going to do it? Probably not, because he's a good guy. He is a good guy. He cares about his project. He cares about his subscribers. He cares about Star Wars. And he's been speaking nothing but praises about Disney. Even though he, he doesn't love everything that Disney's doing right now, he has spoken so positively about Disney, and then they do this to him. And they shaft him like this. This is ludicrous. And Disney, <laughs> if, if you think that this is going to let people calm down, if you think that this is just going to go by and there's going to be no financial repercussions for you come December, you've got another thing coming. And if at the end of the day, this was all over the Imperial March, well, then at this point, I really have only one thing that I have to say to you. Bum, 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 Go ahead, copy strike me, demonetize this video all the hell you want, and you can go to hell. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Please, if you like this video, smash that like button. Give me a sub. Give me a, you know, whatever. Share this video around. I don't care. I don't care because Disney at this point is probably going to demonetize it. And if they decide to monetize it for them, guess what? I'm just going to demonetize it all together or take it down. Because at the end of the day, I don't want any money going to Disney anymore because they are asshats. Have a great day. And I mean, <laughs> God, Whew. I need some Jesus in my life right now. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And as always, God bless. Nah.